Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're joined by Josh Joseph, who is a Senior Solutions Engineer for SonicWall. SonicWall helps its customers build, scale, and manage security across cloud, hybrid, and traditional environments, letting customers evolve their secure cloud adoption at their own pace. Josh joins us today to tell us more about SonicWall and data security in a hybrid workforce environment. Thank you for coming along, Josh, and welcome to the jam. Absolutely. Thanks for inviting me. Now, what is Zero Trust and ZTNA? So, Zero Trust is nothing but a security model, uh, which was, uh, you know, formed in the principle never trust but always verify. So, what it typically means is, uh, be it an external guest or an internal employee, anybody who is trying to, you know, uh, access a certain resource needs to be verified. And that has to be done continuously. So that is what zero trust security model is. And now zero trust network access is an IT security solution, which provides a secure remote access for a user to access the company's uh, resources or data or uh, its application based on a clearly defined granular access control policy. Now, how can a customer leverage their existing security and networking infrastructure as part of a transition to ZTNA? So to leverage uh, ZTNA, organizations will have to focus, alter their focus from uh, a traditional perimeter approach to a more data and user-centric approach. Uh, now they have to, you know, look at uh, who their users are, uh, you know, from uh, what access do they require on a need to know basis and uh, which resources are they trying to access and the main part is from what type of device are they connecting from. So if, uh, you know, if that device that they're connecting from, is it an organization approved device or not? And if it falls under the company's complaint policies. So these are some of the factors. Now, what are the business goals that enterprise wants to achieve with Zero Trust and how can Sonic Wall make that happen? So the primary focus of a, a Zero Trust network access or any organization who wants to achieve that uh, would be uh, based on five different pillars. Uh, it would be identifying the device, um, you know, identifying the user, network, application workloads and data. So with SonicWall clouded secure access, organization can enforce zero trust network access with you know, a complete ease. All they have to do is they have to connect their applications or uh, you know, their uh, data, which could be sitting in on-premise or cloud data center uh, to the SonicWall's uh, POPs, which is the point of presence, and then integrate uh, with a multi-factor authentication and SSO for additional security and create an access control rule based on the organization's compliance policy. Now, the next thing what they have to do is the users would be connecting to these POPs from a managed or an unmanaged device and then access a resource where they will be continuously authenticated, audited in order to verify the user's identity and also you know, what kind of device that they are connecting from. So the secure network connectivity is formed between the source and the destination only after authentication context verification and defining the network perimeter. Now, how does SonicWall Solutions implement ZTNA? So SonicWall has two different types of solutions that provide zero trust network access. So uh, number one is with our flagship product, which is called as SMA, um, which was acquired by SonicWall in the year 2005. It was previously known as Aventai. Uh, we have two different series in it, SMA 1000 series and 100 series. So the SMA 1000 series, which integrates the zero trust uh, security model. What it does is it will give you granular access control by verifying who needs to access to what resources and from what device they are connecting from. Second solution is we have all launched a new product, um, you know, uh, that was in the year 2020 uh, with a partnership called as Clouded Secure Access. So which is a SASE compliant product uh, from SonicWall for companies who have a distributed infrastructure. So Clouded is a 100% cloud native architecture solution with over 30 plus point of presence globally. 
So your users, they could be sitting anywhere. Say, you know, your users could be sitting, uh, some people in US, some people in Australia, some people in India. Uh, and organizations will have their data in different locations as well. They could be having in Azure US, Azure India, Azure Australia, or AWS, different places. And they, the users can access these data with very minimal latency. Now, how does ZTNA compare with VPN, for example? So one of the major problem with VPN is VPN normally backhauls the user traffic uh, when a user is trying to access a corporate data center. And thus it slows down you know, their internet performance. The second thing is it becomes a challenge for organizations uh, who has cloud presence and multiple data centers. So VPN will provide very less visibility in such environments. And the third factor is most VPNs, traditional VPN solutions do not offer a device posture check, which is something, you know, they miss. And when you have a current, you know, hybrid workforce environment model, uh, the data leak risks are higher when device identity check is not enforced. Now, shifting to what is EDR? How do EDR solutions work? How is it different from EPP? And why is it important in an increasingly hybrid workforce? Okay, so uh, EDR is nothing but uh, it's it's a uh, it's an next generation antivirus, uh, you know, which uh, gives you capability. Excuse me, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that one. <laughs> so, uh, EDR is nothing but it's an endpoint detection and response. Uh, it's an endpoint security solution, which actually continuously monitors your endpoints to detect and also respond to any cyber threats. So this EDR solution, what they normally do is they'll analyze the events that are happening on, let's say laptops or your uh, desktops, wherever you have this installed. Uh, be it you know different kind of operating system, Windows or Linux or Mac operating system, they'll try to identify if there are any suspicious activity, and then they'll generate uh, alerts to help SOC to uncover, investigate, and also remediate these issues. So Sonic Pulse Capture Client actually empowers administrators to track down uh, you know threat origins. Uh, we use uh, technology like threat hunting which will be able to you know, find IOCs, and then you can you know, uh, kill or quarantine as necessary. And also we have features like rollback uh, for an endpoint in case if there was an infection or a compromise to a previous known good state. What are the benefits of EDR and what should you look for in an EDR solution? So in an EDR solution, there are uh, four primary things that you, know, you will have to look at. First thing is it has to you know, uh, continuously monitor and then collect activity data from you know, different endpoints that could indicate a threat. Second thing is it has to analyze this data to identify if it matches a threat pattern. Third one would be you, it has to automatically respond. You know, since this is an EDR, you don't have to manually do it like a traditional antivirus or, you know, uh, where you have to go and find out if there is something wrong and then, you know, do a scan and then remove that particular, uh, you know, virus or infection. So it has to automatically respond to remove or contain this identified and then notify the SOC. Fourth thing should be, it should also provide you forensic and analysis tool so that your SOC can research this identified threats and then also continuously search for suspicious activities. Now, how does SonicWall implement EDR solutions? So SonicWall's uh, EDR solution is called as Capture Client, so, uh, which is capable of providing continuous behavior monitoring, which leverages cloud intelligence. We use uh, static analysis and also dynamic behavior protection. Uh, it also includes threat hunting functionality with, uh, which provides deep visibility to search for threats which are based on uh, behavior indicators as well as indicators of compromise, IOCs. So you can also automate these threat hunting and uh, respond with custom rules. SonicWall's Capture Client also has a couple of more 
features which are pretty unique. Like say, you know, we have this feature called as web filtering feature, which is integrated with Capture Client, where customers organization can block access to millions of known malicious URLs, uh, be it a domain or IP address. So this can help them prevent from phishing email attacks or malicious downloads, say ransomware or other online threats. You can also configure that, uh, you know, the policy which will allow or block access to certain websites based on, you know, its categories or URLs. And this all can be done from a single, you know, management console, which will simplify an administrator's, uh, you know, um, job. Now, can SonicWall's ADR solution be integrated with customers' other security products? Um, absolutely. So, um, um, so what you can do is, uh, with from an integration standpoint, you can integrate Capture Client with our SonicWall firewalls. Uh, we do also have uh, open APIs uh, to support integration with any third-party platform. And uh, if you are looking at an integration with, let's say, a SIM or an RMM integration, then we support ConnectWise Automate or uh, you know uh, Intunes, uh, which is now called as Microsoft's Endpoint Manager, ConnectWise Command, and Dato RMM. Well, it has been great to learn more about SonicWall and what you're doing to make life easier for your customers. Thank you for joining us on The Jam, Josh. We look forward to hearing more from SonicWall in the near future. Absolutely a pleasure. Thanks for the invite, Tom. Thanks so much.